Hey YouTube, <clears throat> Nova Piper here. Smoking some uh, Mississippi River <clears throat> and Rick Black poker. Very nice. Cold day. Sucks. Shouldn't be like this. I'm uh been trying different stuff. I'm not a I'm not a big fan of Virginia. And I don't see what the big thing is about it. I know this isn't really a, like a straight Virginia or anything, but it's definitely to me. You know, it's a Virginia forward or a Virginia based tobacco. Um, uh, stay away from my <clears throat> English for a little bit. Instead of smoking it all the time, I smoke it, you know, a couple of different things in between. And then when I go back to my English, I really, I can appreciate it more. I enjoy it better. I find, instead of smoking it all the time. <clears throat> and I still, you know, I'm still into that. I want to try a bunch of different stuff, see what I like. So many, so many options, right? Here's, um, I don't know. Everybody kind of thinks that <coughs> if I like a certain type of tobacco, if that's not what you're smoking, then you don't know what you're doing kind of attitude. It's, it's not really like that, but, you know, sometimes you feel that way. And there's a lot, of, a lot of guys out there smoke Virginia. Sometimes I wonder if they're like fads. Are you only smoking like or like golden slices because this guy you watch says, oh, yeah, it's the cat's ass. Well, that's how I found out about Orlick Golden Slice from watching videos, and I've seen a lot of people enjoyed it, so I bought it. And I bought a few cans of it. I smoked a few cans of it. But I don't really enjoy it. So I bought some other stuff people like. Uh, Sam Ga I like Sam Gawa, so I tried Virginia Flake or whatever. Straight Virginia or Pure Virginia, whatever it's called. Didn't like it. It's a Dunhill Flake. I think that's Virginia. Anyway, I tried a whole bunch of different types of straight Virginias. And I didn't like any of them. Now, this stuff isn't so bad. Now, I've only had two blends from Seattle Pipe Club. This and the Plum Pudding which they're completely different. I really enjoy the plum pudding because it's, you know, the Latakia. I can't taste any Latakia in here, even though there's supposed to be a little bit of everything in this, right? You know what I'd say to the guys? And I really like the Mississippi River, but I don't like all this other stuff. I don't know how you guys, like, smoke it and say it's so fantastic. And then Unicorn Piper told me, it's like all these Virginias that you're trying have, is it Bright Virginia or Yellow Virginia or something? It's all the same type. So he goes, the Mississippi River has Red Virginia. I'm like, oh, really? So I looked into it, and sure enough, he's right. You know, so I looked up all you know, the components and stuff and go to different websites all over the place. And I end up having to go to a lot of the... Uh, I end up having to go to some retail sites to find out what exactly the components were. And I couldn't really get a good... I go to tobacco reviews sometimes just to read the components, but I find tobacco reviews that wasn't, won't tell you the type of 
Virginia are not always the curing process that's involved as well. And that's how I ended up with some shitty Kentucky tobacco. I thought I was buying Burley. I think it was Burley Flake. Cornell and Deal or something. I forget who makes it, but Burley Flake number three or something. It's just, I had read that it was Burley tobacco. Well, yeah, it is Burley tobacco, but they didn't tell me it was Dark Fire Burley tobacco, which is basically Kentucky. So when I got it, it was terrible. So I got to learn a little bit more before I indulge. I got to learn a little bit more about Virginias and Burleys. I'm finding that even with straight Burley. I think I like the straight Burley better than I do straight Virginia or Vapors. But where this is a red Virginia. So I'm trying to sit down and put a little thought to it. But with straight Burley, I'm finding that the Burley taste that I like in tobacco is when it's a Burley based aromatic. <coughs> A lot of the aromatics that I've tried when I got back into the pipe were all Cavendish, flavored Cavendish, and they tasted pretty nasty. Great when you like them. Then they just lose it. They have no flavor. It's just all the same washed out bland. And then I found out that it was always stale. You know, component and it was Cavendish. I've got some tobacco that's unflavored Cavendish in it and I don't mind that. <clears throat> but flavored Cavendish I find it just washes itself out. So the aromatics that I've been or the you know it's not that I was looking for aromatics. I was looking for a burly based tobacco that I enjoyed and I wasn't ruling out aromatics so some of it's just over the counter shit. And to be honest, I like some of that better than the Orlick Golden Slice. I've had a point now where I probably won't even... You know, I've, I've always had some Orlick Golden Slice in the house. Always had some. I don't think I'm going to... I'm not even going to worry about that. If I don't have any... No more straight Virginia. I'm just going to let it all run out. and I'm not going to buy any more of that. I'm going to try to concentrate more on these red Virginias. I'll start off by just buying a can of some some kind of red Virginia tobacco. <clears throat> Give it a try. It doesn't necessarily necessarily have to be a straight Virginia. Like this is mixed up. I really enjoy it. I'm not gonna fall into the peer pressure. I do fall into the peer pressure if a lot of guys or gals are saying no this is really great stuff well I'm gonna try it but just because everybody likes it I'm still gonna be honest about my opinion I'm not gonna sit there and smoke it and say I like it when I don't um, what's an example Bob's chocolate flake everybody was raving about Bob's chocolate flake and it's from Kendall tobacco and I like their products kind of a fanboy then I'm gonna give it a shot well it wasn't what I expected It's not, it's not terrible. I'll smoke it, and I'll just never buy it again. But, you know, that's how you learn. You know, and lots of people do enjoy it, and that's fantastic. That's good. You know, just like I say. Lots of people who... Lots of people who smoke, uh... Or lots of stuff that I smoke people don't like at all. Some people do. And there's one guy in the chat group who we have similar we like similar types of uh, English blends, Balkan blends. But then there's also stuff that I like that he doesn't, and there's stuff that he likes that I don't. Same same thing. But yet then there's some tobaccos. Like we both like Ted Russians, you know. It's like, oh yeah, man, and 
know, he's into the plum pudding, and it's like, yeah, that plum pudding's great. But yeah, there's a lot going on in this in the Seattle Pipe Club. Stuff I've tried, anyway. See, this I could smoke. You know, I, I wouldn't substitute it. I wouldn't switch over from English to this stuff by, by, by any means, but... It's not bad. It's got a good... It's good. It's got a different flavor to it. You know, like where... Like, for instance, with Orlick, everybody says, Oh, the hay and the grass. Well, I can smell it in the can, and when you smoke it, I don't know. I don't smoke grass and hay, so I don't know what it smell tastes like, but... The citrusy and all this. Those are flavors that I can't find. It's citrus. And when people say raisins, I don't get raisins. Like, this is sweet. But uh, it's definitely... You know, if you were to tell me that this was a Virginia-based tobacco, I'd be like, ah, no, no way. But there's a lot of other components in this. So maybe it's just the straight Virginia. So that's why I'm going to try some straight old red Virginia. If I can find it. If not, you know, if there's a really popular gland out there people recommend that say, hey, well, it's, you know, it's not straight Virginia. It's got a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Well, hey, if it's really good, I don't give a shit. I'm going to, I'm going to try it. If I like it, I'll buy it. I think one of the problem with Virginia tobaccos and me is the next smoker. I find Virginia's taste like cigarettes. And I always, whenever I make that comment, I always state that in Canada, cigarettes are Virginia based. So Virginia tobaccos give me that cigarette kind of flavor. And Burley doesn't. So our cigarettes aren't made from Burley. But yeah, so far I'm just kind of into the, I'm a little bit more, um, it's easier for me to critique the English blends than it is a Virginia blend, I guess, because Virginia's got so many different types. And I always like to say, oh, it's bright Virginia, red Virginia, and dark this, and, you know, flu cured, and whatever. And I don't really know how they all change flavors when you smoke it right. This is pretty good. I couldn't, I wouldn't want to smoke it all the time. It's, you know, my next bowl is going to definitely have to be uh, some good, strong English, I think. Something. I find now I smoke a, stay away from the English for a few days, and then I can take a, an English blend that I'm not really a fan of, and then I can reappreciate it and give it a, a, now a fresh opinion. Kind of cleanse the palate. I don't smoke a pipe all day long. I only, maybe once a day at that. I didn't smoke one yesterday. Didn't feel like it. It was too shitty out. I was debating today, but I just really wanted to have one. But anyway. Yep. Quest of Virginia. Anyway. That's about it. Thanks for watching. All take care. See ya.